What's up guys, Jeremy Myrtle here with Myrtle Entertainment and uh, first of all, welcome back to the channel everyone. I'm sorry that I led you guys on a long hiatus. Uh, I will explain all of that at the, at the end of this video, but um, let's go ahead and get right into this. So, um, first of all, before we begin, thank you guys for uh, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Uh, especially those who comment on my last video on uh, how to make an RTMP server. If you have not seen that yet, I will leave an annotation somewhere or I'll have a link in the description. Something like that. So, in the last video that I made, I, I mentioned that you could do, that you can make the server in Windows somehow, but there was a, there, there had to be like this, this special way of how to do it. Well, actually, you can, and uh, you act, you actually don't even need your virtual machine. You can actually get rid of that because this, I found another little neat program, or I found another way of how you can do this through Windows without any hassle at all. So um, what we're going to do is, first of all, I'm going to show you how to get it. The, the program is called Putty. This is... This program is found in almost every IT business setting. Uh, it is, it's everywhere. Um, Putty.exe essentially allows you to, to connect from one computer to another and uh, make them talk to each other in a way. And it's actually a Linux based uh, terminal. So you just want to click this link, save the file, and then uh, you can save it to your desktop or something. That's what I did uh, at first for easy access. So once that's downloaded, you just want to double click and just say run. It's not you don't need to install it or anything. You just click and run, and then all you have to do is I mean, and this is so easy a baby could do it. So what you're gonna do is just type your IP address, and that is it. All you do is type in the IP address of your server, keep the port number the same, keep the connection type the same, don't bother putting in a save session unless you want to and know what you're doing, and, uh, and keep the closed window on next hit, keep that the same. And all you do is click open. Now you guys will probably have a little uh, dollop box up here uh, asking you, uh, basically saying that the key has not been added to the cache. Um, you can't. Th there's no guarantee that the, this is the computer that you really want to connect to. Do you still want to add this computer to our cache anyway? Well, for those of you who don't know what cache is, and no, we're not talking about cash money. Um, it's C A C H E. The cache is memory. So. Um, if you remember when we did this through the virtual machine, um, Linux said the authenticity of this IP address cannot be found or is not part of our list of servers or whatever. Do you want to continue or do you trust the source? Something like that. And we said yes. Well, you want to say yes here too because this is obvious. It's, it's, it's saying the same thing as Linux said. Um, this is not a trusted source. Do you want to add it anyway? Just say yes. We know it's trusted. We're the ones who made it. So we have our IP address here. Then we see this login as screen. And all we do is type in the word root. And the reason why is because when you when you log in as root, well, why do it's like you're thinking to yourself, well, Jeremy, why do we do that? Well, when your computer, when you first launch your virtual machine, or when you first launch your virtual machine, you, we had the type SSH root at server IP, right? Well, now we don't. Now it's basically saying, um, now it's it, it's basically trying to log you into the server, and sometimes if you get this little. Um, pop-up box that says server unexpectedly closed network connection that's perfectly normal that happens sometimes all you do is run the uh, all you do is run the program again 
and do the same thing as you did before. So as I was saying, um, we, we type in root because before we had to type ssh root at server IP. Well, now we're getting to the point where it's asking us to log in to the IP that we're trying to connect to. So it's kind of like trying to log into another computer, if you will. So the login we need is root because that's that's SSH root. You're trying to connect to this IP as the root user. That's basically what the SSH command meant. So we're going to type root and notice something similar. Root at IP's password. You see that in Linux and you're going to see it here. And the password is what you identified when you first made the server. So you just type that in and now you're ready to go. It's that it is that simple. So all you have to do, and of course you'll see the programs include with the Debian Linux system. Debian uh, comes with no warranty to the extent permitted by applicable law. Uh, yeah, and, and all that kind of stuff. We don't need to worry about that. So we can just clear that out, and it's it. You just control it from there. So all you do is type it. Say you want to start the server. All you do is type in the same pathway that you typed in before. That will start it and to stop it, you do the exact same thing. Dash sbin slash nginx dash s stop. And that will stop it. It's that simple. It, I mean, like I said, it's so easy a baby could do this. It is so simple. Um, and that's basically it for this video. But before I go, like I mentioned, um, I, I kept I I kept you guys hanging on this little hiatus, and I'm sorry that I did. Um, usually, I come out and tell you guys what my last video is going to be, and this year I didn't because I had no idea that the RTMP server video was my last one, and I hate that. And I should have let you guys know in a vlog or something, but I didn't. Again, I'm sorry, um, but. It's done now. We are in a brand new year. I'm going to start uploading a lot more often. And hopefully we can get some more new tutorials underway. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see in the comments down below. I will be more than happy to take your feedback. Also, if you have any questions regarding this or my last video, let me know in the comments down below as well. And I will see you guys in the next video.